In a closely watched race that ran late into the night Tuesday, voters in Maine repealed a recent law that legalized same-sex marriage in the state. During hours of vote counting, the two sides kept within one percentage of each other. But opponents of the law finally broke away, holding on to 53% of the vote with 87% of the state's precincts reporting. At least 30 other states have rejected gay marriage at the ballot box. Maine was the first state to legalize same-sex marriage through the legislative process. Governor John Balducci signed a bill approved by Democratic majorities in both houses of the state legislature on May 6. A day later, opponents of the measure filled the paperwork necessary to launch a people's veto, successfully halting the new law from taking effect in September. Now we're going to talk to entertainment host Kira McKee and get the latest straight out of Hollywood. How's it going, Kira? Good, great. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> First up, are Josh Duhamel and Fergie the next victims of the short Hollywood marriage curse? Reports have been streaming in all week of cheating allegations on Duhamel's part. An exotic dancer who claims to have gotten down and dirty with Duhamel in Atlanta has reportedly taken and passed a polygraph test, confirming her story is true. Fergie, however, is sticking by her man, proving big girls don't cry just yet. Sandra Bullock is currently duking it out in court with a porn star over Bullock's stepdaughter, Sunny. Sunny is the daughter of Bullock's husband, Jesse James. The duo feel porn star Janine Lindenmulder is unfit to take care of Sunny after her recent imprisonment. Stay tuned to see if this A-list actress will beat her Z-list competitor in the courtroom. Next, it was recently announced that comedy duo Steve Martin and Alec Baldwin will be hosting this year's Oscars. This came after the announcement that last year's presenter Hugh Jackman has turned down the offer. Hopefully this duo will leave the audience in stitches, but out of the hospital. Finally, no matter how you feel about the Kanye West-Taylor Swift VMA incident, it's sure to be nothing but a love story when Kanye and Taylor reunite on SNL this Saturday. Swift will be fulfilling her hosting musical guest responsibilities, and West is set to make an appearance. Let's hope with Beyonce out of the picture, Kanye will be too heartless. This won't be too heartless this time around. The whole incident with the VMAs was pretty awful. I know. I think I think Swift will be able to hold her own this time. And you know what? I think Country may have a fighting chance at rap this time. She's going to take him down. Yeah. I, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. <laughs> Thanks, Kira. Coming up after the break, we'll have the latest on Mara's sports as well as the weekend's weather. Stay tuned.